Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're set to bring in the annual event known as Clean Old Fashioned Hate. And they couldn't have come up with a better name as these two schools had little affinity for each other. Gone. Gathered in at the 6. He's out to the 30. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he carries the ball for a nice game. George is loaded, and they've got one of their key players back again this year. And it always helps when you've got veteran leadership, Herbie. And it really helps when they're as talented as this guy is. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. George has got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Hey, hurry up. Hey, hurry up, hurry up. No time, no time, no time. Here we go. Black and five. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. Well, the defense brought a lot of pressure, and that time they got burned. If you don't get to this quarterback on the blitz, you're giving him a ton of room to make a play. From the 31 yard line. First down. He has some room. Runs right for a nice game. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Mitchell, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. Let's go, let's From the 24-yard line, third down. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. The kick is up, and he goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Tackle after positive yardage. Gain of six on the play. That makes it third and seven. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. And that one's incomplete. Incomplete pass. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Mosley is waiting for the snap. What a collision. Nice yardage on the run back. They're ready to begin another drive. Georgia is up a field goal. Complete. He's got room. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Has some daylight. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. He's 
looking for six. Got his man. Touchdown. on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 53-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 10 of them. Douglas has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Brown from the one. Tackle made at the 22. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. The Yellow Jackets have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 20. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Wants to go long and does. And he went way up and he's got the interception. Tackle at the 47. Brad, I'm gonna put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've gotta be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. From the 47 yard line, first down. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll bring up second and three. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Mitchell gains six yards with a short completion. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Brought down at the 23. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Mitchell was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at the 18. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's tackled at the nine. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and goal. Under heavy pressure. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. Oh, 
He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 48-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Georgia's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First and ten following that big run. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Got some open field. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Pitches, and he's got room. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. And that's it for the first quarter, and it's been all one-sided. Georgia's lead is 17. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Defense and their short yardage package. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. They'll bring him down around the one-yard line. Jackson gains around three yards on the option play. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 78-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Georgia Tech to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle at the 28. 
kickoff returns 25 yards. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and 10. Ball on their own 28. <laughs> Gets out to about the 28-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That brings up third and ten. On the ball, on the ball. He throws left. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh, boy, you're grabbing your helmet and sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Good open field tackle. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 14-yard line, first down. Touchdown, Tech. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He airs it out. He goes up and gets it. He's taken down right around the 30. Georgia holds a field goal lead. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Number four on the tackle at the 24-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 25. That's what I That's what I do. Fires it out, and down he goes at the 14-yard line. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. He fights forwards about the 13. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Caught over the middle, and he's taken down around the five-yard line. Tackle 
tackle at about the three-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From the three-yard line, it's second down. And the goal line defense digging in here. Ready. Touchdown, Bulldogs. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's to the 40. He steps out at about the 33-yard line. First down. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Perez takes it right side. He takes it right side for a good game. That brings up second and five. Makes it to the 28-yard line. That'll make it 35. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Here comes the pressure. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Anderson makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Gets to about the 24-yard line. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Ready! Easy, easy, easy. Check, check run, 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 run. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Quick throw, and he's hit immediately. The Yellow Jackets are going to call their second timeout. Douglas awaits the snap. McPherson takes it to 36, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. 
Williams is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Anderson with the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He scrambled. Brought down at the 43. A minute left in the half. Marshall, the return man. And here's the... Wait a minute, the Elfback's got it. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Makes it first and ten. He rifles it. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain check, and check. a first Disco down. Raver. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! Slings it. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From the 24-yard line, second down. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Bulldogs lead 24-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half, and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out and obviously you you put your game on tape. They, the coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, they don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. You got to take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your, it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From the five-yard line. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. 
And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. They'll make the sack. And for Hearn, he's now gotten to the quarterback twice. This offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. Mosley is waiting for the snap. Got the corner. Brought down at the 48. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. They go with a run, and he's taken down behind the line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Push him out at the 26 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Run left side, and he's stopped behind the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 27. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up fourth and Looks seven. like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Georgia. In great speed by the receiver. You knew they had to dial up something big. But these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The volunteer Navy has arrived. Tennessee set to run through the tee in Knoxville. And for Tennessee, a win today will make them bowl eligible. The volunteers have the lead, 28-13. All right, Reese, back to our game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Tackle. 
tackle made at the 22. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. That'll bring up third and eight. The crowd really making it difficult. He's under pressure. Very good tackle in space. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And now he's got room to run. He's taken down at the 28. Makes it to the 11. And he throws it away. From the 11 yard line, second down. really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Touchdown, Bulldogs! That throw for six gives him four touchdowns. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 54-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Douglas has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard. Forced to punt uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Good tackle there in space. Game of five yards. That brings up second and five. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. Here they come. Throwing left. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down. From the 47 yard line. It's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Jackson gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. Now he's scrambling. 
Tackle around the 33 yard line. Gain of nine on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down right around the 30. Harden on the tackle at the 30 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Fires out to his wide out, and down he goes at about the 13. That makes it first and 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's level at the 11-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 11-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of four yards. We head to the fourth. 38-14, Georgia. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. down around the one yard line the short yardage defense here touchdown tech these blocking backs do a lot of dirty work during the game so it's good to reward them let him barrel it in for a score once in a while so the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion They got it. Esther, we are seeing the offense jump out in front. The Wildcats are out front, 21-17. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Marshall back to return. Garrison is lined up to kick this one off. Marshall from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. 16 yards. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He wants it all going long. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And for Wood, his receiving numbers keep getting more and more gaudy. Over the course of an entire year, you're going to take some shots when you catch as many passes as he does. But he's always been able to bounce back for more yards. That makes it second and 14. From the 45 yard line, second down. Ready, black, 90. He makes it to the 42 yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. No Harlem, no Harlem. Third down. is out to the tailback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Uh -huh. 
There's a very impressive open field tackle. the ground incomplete he gets it up and he got it the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Brown from the three They'll bring him down at the 32 yard. A study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from this one. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 32-yard line. It's second down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding. Little stumbles like these can still kill your down. offensive progress. He's scrambling. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 28. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. The Cavalry's coming. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Jennings on the tackle at the 35 yard line. That brings up fourth and seven. Mike 52, Mike 52. Larry, Larry. Check 37, check 37. He scrambled. Dives and he's down. Terrific run in a crucial spot. The big key was the offensive line giving the ball carrier room to get upfield. First and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. First down. Let's go, D. Let's go. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Williams is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go! Strike to his receiver, no good. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick toss. Great concentration to haul it in. And they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the eight-yard line. No game. That brings up second and goal. From the eight-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of two. That makes it third and goal.
This is the 11th play of this drive. He zips it. Fires quickly. Touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 67 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Tackle made at the 42. The Yellow Jackets came in here with a nationally ranked defense. They haven't looked like a nationally ranked defense to me. Well, Brad, I don't think they're playing with their normal focus that we've seen from this team. We've seen backs at times that are breaking open. Wide receivers are making plays over the top of defensive backs. They're just not as dialed in as they normally are. He's at the 30. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Georgia Tech will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. The Yellow Jackets are going to call their second timeout. Just over two minutes in the game. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Georgia Tech's out of timeouts. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackle made at about the seven yard line. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Nice run, and he's brought down. A gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. Swarm the ball, swarm the ball, swarm the ball. staff they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out yeah I mean they know that when the chips are on the table they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point they line up to kick this one away He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's a big lead here, and this game's out of reach, but you don't want to give up defensively. Well, de the defenses for both these teams have to take a little bit of pride in what they're doing. Whether you're up big or you're down, you still want to go out there and play well. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. We have less than a minute to go. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away.
Mosley is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Georgia's staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Georgia 48, Georgia Tech 29. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.